The question, how do you gain finger strength to use bar chords on the guitar? There are exercises which are effective, and practice will make your tendons and muscles progressively stronger, as many answers pointed out. Also, aware and careful practice will give your hand flexibility, allowing for the right angles. Meaning that whatever pressure you are exerting will go right where it needs to go, not somewhere else. Meaning you will need to press less. However, I encourage you to consider that guitar playing is more about technique and being clever and aware of what you are doing, than about having an iron grip. It is pretty normal for many guitar players to use way more downward pressure than it is truly required. And sometimes at times no pressure is required at all because after all you are not yet playing that notes you are pressing on, or they have stopped ringing already. Consider the way a fretted string instrument works. You are not shortening the string with your finger, as you would on a fretless instrument. You are pressing it down so it goes touching the next fret. It then becomes effectively as short as the distance from that fret to the bridge. As such, the closer your finger is to the next fret when pressing, the less pressure you need. It is a matter of physics. One trick for the bar is to lay down your finger nearly on the fret and then roll it backward a bit, gently, that will concentrate pressure on a smaller section of the finger and of the strings. The smaller the section, the smaller the force required to get a clear sound. You can, and will naturally with practice, time the pressure, roll back, so it starts just before you play that notes, and finishes when it is not needed anymore. In order to define the minimum pressure required to play single notes in bar, try this simple experiment. Press a knot hard so it ring and keep playing while you release the pressure slowly very slowly. At some point it will sound muffled. Press slightly more and it will sound okay again. That is the pressure you need. Anything more is wasted, it just hurt your fingers and slows you down. Do this as an exercise. Every day for a few minutes, you will soon start developing a sense of what is enough, and what is too much. Then be aware of length. You don't need to choke the strings when no sound is needed, do you? Observe yourself, and notice when you are pressing down hard for nothing, correct that. Finally, I would like to remark again that the smaller the surface area you use for pressing, the easier it is. Think of the hammer and a nail, the kind of nail you use to hang pictures to the wall, not the nails at the end of your finger. A nail makes a hole because the tip is tiny, so it applies all the pressure on a tiny surface. If the nail was not pointy, you would need much more pressure to stick it in the wall. Similarly, if you splatter your finger over the fretboard, whatever pressure you are putting will be distributed. If you roll your fingers a bit, really find the string and press on it, you will get better results with much less effort. So, rolling, timing, little surface.